Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the next match, cross band list cap. So, uh, last match here in group C, we have um, almost a finalist from last year, right, on the um, upper part. So, a returning deck being Clownblade and OCG decklist. It's going to take on a TCG variant, TCG decklist of uh, Cosmo. It has been a couple, a couple of years. Can't remember how well Cosmo did uh, previously, or, you know, the previous time it uh, attended the cross balance cup series. So, which deck has the advantage? Hmm, I think this is the first time. No, we have like a 50 50 ish uh, in the votes. Mmm, intriguing. Like, before this matchup, I kind of felt the same. I had, like, no clue. Um, I mean, both decks have their advantage. I think, obviously, the biggest advantage of Cosmo is their trademark. As in, uh, the boss ships, the most of them, <laughs> other than Slip Rider, I think, and, and the other one, the other level 5, all have the capability that, uh, just like Magia Spectres, right, that, that they cannot be targeted by card effects. So that's kind of disgusting, because back then, back in 2016, that was uh, kind of like power creep against a lot of decks. Um, sure, you had Monarchs in pretty much the same age, 2016, the structure deck. Um, but it definitely hurts, and I've read through the comments, is um, how do you out a big ship if it's, you know, in case of um, Clown Blade? And that's definitely true. Uh, one of the easier outs is Utopia. Utopia Lightning, or the Lightning, you know, like when it battles, your opponent cannot activate card effects, or, you know, like no monster effects at least. So they cannot tag out for a smaller pilot by banishing the ship from the graveyard. It was destroyed by battle. Problem is, is that most ships are or have a higher attack uh, compared to Utopia. So in most situations where I, you know, let's say I'm forced to attack into a Dark Destroyer, I should be using its effect of detaching to double the attack. And sadly, I can only use it once, unless maybe I, maybe you know, that that Custer Emerald send back Utopia. That could potentially open the way for another one. Problem is, is that. Um, Cosmo just keep pumping, keeps pumping out beat sticks, and the fact that this is the Fire King Island build of what is it, uh, first place YCS Rimini back in 2016? Alberto Conti's list, I believe? Yeah, that was the name. Long time, eight years ago. Almost eight years ago. It's uh, sure you're running a small brick. What is it, the, the small Karenix one? Ah, uh, the chicken one. <laughs> yeah. as, as only one target for, you know, Fire King Island to search. But the uh, potential pluses you would be getting off of the Fire King Island was f just far too big. Um, and that's kind of, you know, like strange. Oh, well, not strange, but back in the old school days, they weren't running Dark Planets. You know, the one that what does it negate spells. Um, for the most obvious reasons, you know, it was super hard to get on field. So anyway, I tried to push for game. Uh, it was a bit wishful thinking, you know, like, what, what is it, the Cosmo deck runs six traps, triple call, triple Cosmojo, and in all honesty, one of those would have sealed the deal, a, a duel in any case, at least prevent a, a potential Utopia or whatever, yeah, Utopia was on field to potentially connect our deck over Slip Rider, prevent the search, and then the other monsters would have been able to attack for a game, and again, it wasn't for Call of the Haunted, what is it, during the battle phase? I think so. And here another two Cosmo shows being drawn. Again, more this more than enough. That's the thing, right? Like, as soon as my Utopia the Lightning is gone, I hardly have any outs for the ships. The bigger ships, that is. So that that that's definitely a big deal. Triple Phoenix Chain, Triple Compulse, all kinda useless against the big ships. Sure. Looking at Compulse, Compulse could be important to, you know, bounce back a small pilot. But, you know, that feels super mediocre, especially if I can't go for a game. So this is a, an okay-ish opening hand. Uh, Laval Wild Chain Shockmaster, I guess, from the looks of it. Um, you know, send Thousand Blades to the graveyard, discard the Clown Blade Dragodius, that's one of the three monsters needed. Mm, there's no way to extend even more, no instant fusion, so go for Shock. The thing you hear it with Shockmaster, and I have Compulse, so, so in most situations you would be calling either spells or monsters, but we know that, you know, the deck Fire Kings, or in this case, Cosmo, Cytex in, what is it, multiple, Dark Hole, Geki, but because of the ships, uh, I think I'm always forced to call uh, monsters, again, preventing the ships from tagging out, and, you know, the small tin can for potential search. So calling monsters, I think, was a necessary evil, but... Like you saw what happened, what was it, because of the mulligan effect of the field spell, they were able to draw into Cosmocho, again one of those fewer outs for this particular board. Sure, I can go for the Thousand Blaze and Clown Blade combo, um, 
But uh, like, look at that, there is a double Dark Destroyer, and that's disgusting. So attempt into the battle phase, or try to go into the battle phase. They can tag out in the battle phase, that's important. Uh, so main phase 2, use... Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the... Um, uh, or try to use, or want to use, the pendulum effect of Dragodius. So what is it? Discard a card, and then um, the attacking monster will lose half, its, half of its attack. So kind of making sure that I, you know, would survive. Uh, I'm not using its effect, I don't think it's needed. Because I survive either way. So farm girl does connect. Reborns uh, the Thousand Blades, and here in this case I'm not forced to use it. So that uh, makes it so that I, let me think, preserve some life points. Yeah, I can't use uh, yeah the, the Trick Clown. I'm so low on life points. Yeah, that was a big deal. So the thing here is, is then, <laughs> on top of that, getting next seat as well. I, I hardly have any outs. Excite at night, but you know all the small uh, big ships will just trigger. Special summoning the smaller pilots and uh, what is it, the dark lady as well for more monster effect negation. So it it's it feels like um, what is it, how do you say it like an uphill battle for this deck, especially because no dweller, for example. I mean, even with Dweller, you need powerful beat sticks next to it to protect Dweller and try to push over the bigger ships. So game number three, um, a weaker opening hand, again very similar, oh yeah this one. So I was like, okay Lava Wall Chain, no Veiler. So I was like, okay let's go for Zephyros first, instead of Thousand Blades. And um, okay maybe there was one unknown card in hand, I'm not so sure, you should probably just Veiler the first one, no? It is what it is, so the Veiler on uh, the second one, so now I'm forced, you know, kind of missing the uh, Thousand Blades and not able to go for another rank 4 exceed. It wouldn't have been game either way. Um, the thing is, is that, let me think, was I able to go for a, whatchamacallit, Shock Monster? Hmm, I don't think so. Oh, no, no, I think because of failure, right? Yeah, because of failure. <clears throat> so it is what it is. Um, and, <laughs> like, this is just a perfect, like, like the, the cards you pick, the cards you want, the cards you get. Uh, Cosmojo, Dark Destroyer, you know, those cards are interrupt during your opponent, prevent them from, you know, putting up Shockmaster, for example, or bigger rank 4 exceeds, that's just everything. And, uh, what is it, Dark Lady? Dark Lady, right, the one that negates monster effects, can tag out, so Farm Girl connects, I'm not so sure if this is game. Searching Cosmojo, okay, I guess, yeah, Slip Rider, okay, yeah, Slip Rider destroys the field spell, searches the Dark Destroyer, and uh, setting Cosmojo indeed gives, uh, there is no way I can come back from this. Um, I always need any two card combo to get me back in the duel. This could have been game though, <laughs> right, if it wasn't for Cosmojo, but Cosmojo was there and this is again more than enough. Yeah, oh, the straw man is still there, right, getting back some of something of your banished pile. Um, maybe a sword trooper eventually tag out, that. whatever. So. Uh, a clean 3-0, like in all honesty, before this matchup, I definitely would not have seen this one coming. But like after playing this one out, yeah, if I'm honest, like Cosmo was far too strong with those, especially those ships, right? Disgusting. So, so yeah, next matchup, we have Drytron versus Prankets. Adventure Prankets, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching, feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video, leave them signing out. Peace.